Hey moms, there's a good chance your kids may try to trick you with this meme that's being passed around. It's really popular. <laughs> it's a picture of a turkey in a microwave and it says, text your mom and ask how long it takes to microwave a 25 pound turkey. Then these kids take your responses <laughs> and share them on social media to shame you yes. for falling for it, right? The comments have been hilarious with moms text screaming at their kids about the idiocy of an attempt to nuke a turkey. <laughs> well, yesterday, Jennifer here took a different approach. Yeah, so here's the thing. We heard people talking about this meme in the newsroom and my son's girlfriend sent this to me. She's like, oh, we're having Friendsgiving. We're gonna try to cook a 25 pound turkey in the microwave. I'm like, mm, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna play your game. So she's like, how long will it take? This was my response. I'm like, well, you know, that's a lot of turkey. You're gonna need two rolls of tin foil. You're <laughs> definitely gonna wanna cook it naked. You know, it keeps the juices in. And she proceeds to go on saying, well, it'll be juicy from the microwave, right? Like she's trying to get, she's, she wants she's to trying sure to bait you know. me. She's trying to bait me. I'm like, well, you know, if you're worried about it leaking, Put more tin foil on it. It'll be fine. And she's like, "Well, how long do I cook it?" I said, "Well, how how like long does your microwave go?" And she wrote, "Huh?" And I'm like, "You know, some microwaves only go for two hours or one hour, so maybe one hour times two. And so then she shares me that meme, and I was like, "I knew what you were doing." Hashtag you can't trick a trickster. And she's like, "Darn it all! Why do you have to be hashtag cool mom?" I was like, "Yes, I knew it." But these kids, because I went to a restaurant last night. And the uh, marketing director there said, my daughter did that to me last night too. I was yelling at her thinking, well, I never taught her how to cook. And she said, and she was going back and forth with her daughter for a while, long while. Another person at another table is like, oh my God, I just got that text right now. Oh my God. So you kids who think that me moms don't know what you're trying to do, we got you. Yep, I'm about, I'm going to do it to my mom though, because my mom's not hashtag cool mom. My mom's oh, sweet mom, okay. sweet mom, but she will fall for this. And you guys know my cooking ability, so you, it's, it's pretty believable. realistic. It's, it's believable. Real. It right. is believable. So in case Carly, you know, texts you this, then you know. I'll shame her right back yeah. if she knows better. <laughs> Love it. Well, we unsuccessfully tried to get the Pringles Thanksgiving chips to taste before the holidays. Yeah. They have the whole turkey meal yeah. with stuffing and crannies and all that. Uh, we were devastated because they were all sold out, right? But Jennifer has found a way to make up for it. You betcha. Now this year I'm hosting a little cookie making party for the holidays. You said you've done that with your friends before too. Yes, super fun. Okay, well if you're like Kylie, you don't know how to cook well. Yeah, I'm that's just me. joking. No, I'm just no, joking. We're, you're right. We're gonna get her <laughs> help. This, is, this is your solution. So I got this shipped to us last night. It's called Baked. Okay. Um, and it is handcrafted. It is made with the freshest ingredients. And it has all natural ingredients like real butter, pure sugar cane, 100% wow. egg free. So oh, okay. you can eat this. You could eat this either warm, cold, or really cold, like it's ice cream. So I want you ladies to take a it. taste because then if this is really good, then you don't have to worry about those holiday cookies, right? Name off your flavors. <laughs> okay, you just guys. gonna I've give got, this to um, my friends. I've got. Uh, Ray wants some. Cookie dough brownie batter. Cookie dough, Ooh. see that sounds good. What do you got, Catherine? I've got sugar cookie. Okay, I've got um, just the cookie dough Oreo. And I've got classic chocolate chip. Okay, so take a bite, okay. ladies. And and the idea is you eat this raw like this. Well, you can, yeah, you eat it raw. It but is so you can good, eat though. It I like, like it. Warm or cold. Producer Denise, like, you eat it regularly cold like how most people eat it. It's like good. out of the bowl. I like it. Mine that's tastes the idea, really right? Oh, that's really Buttery. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kylie, this could be your thing instead of having, like. I know. But we are, by the way, we are making um, holiday cookie one. recipes and such that we'll share with you. Um, the 10 days mm. of cookie making. This is really good. Did you like it? Yeah, taste it. Just real, I think, like sugar cookie. Oh dough. my God, this is really good with the butter. I would do this frozen and then heat up a spoon so you could actually cut it mm. and it'd be like cookie dough ice cream. There you go. So we're going to put this wow, online. Guys. You could try it. I think this is good. This is a good yeah. alternative yeah. to the, you know, getting your dirty fingers all messy right. with the good stuff. Ooh, no, that's rich, that mm. brownie. We'll one. get I something like for you to try, Ray. Don't all you? All right. So a massive country star is making his way to Grand Rapids this spring, and you're going to want to get your tickets because it's likely going to sell out. And we're, you know, celebrating this here with a special concert announcement from Van Andel Arena, Allison Goodike. And um, I'm thinking somebody like, I don't know, who mm. sings tropical music? Yeah. Mm. Well, but the, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. going on? Who is it? Someone who likes the war? Yeah. Yes. Oh. yes. Yes. And. What is he going to be doing? Where is he coming? And when do we need to get tickets? So, he is coming April 6th to Van Andel Arena. 
We don't know when tickets are going to go on sale yet, but we can invite you guys and 500 people to the arena on December 6th for a beach party where we're going to give you the chance to win five pairs of tickets oh, and meet and greet. Fun. That's a great idea. I love it. So that's the beach theme. I mean, ah, okay. Now I understand. I understand. Yes. So um, does, is this going to be his first time at Van Andel? No, he has been to the arena about five times, but okay. he has oh not been there since 2013. Yeah, I was okay. going to say, it's been a little while. Yes, I'm dying to go see Kenny Chesney. I love him. I just feel like he's also had like a little bit of a resurgence in his career, like a little boost mm -hmm. lately where people are really excited about him. Yeah, I did a um, talent show dance to Kenny Chesney's When the Sun Goes Down, <laughs> and this is exactly what we wore oh, for really? it when I was in like Can third grade. Can you give grade. us a little? Well, I was in third grade, so this is really all we did. We didn't get very far. We didn't have place, but it's all right. You know, it's getting a little flashback. I'm liking it. Oh, <laughs> well, you funny. can bring that with you when you uh, come okay. to Kenny Chesney. Yes. Okay, so when's Same the party outfit. again? The party is on December 6th from okay. 4 to 6 p.m. at the arena. It's the first 500 people will be able to get in. And like I said, we're giving away five pairs of tickets plus meet and greets. And there will be other giveaways and fun stuff. There will be margaritas. And, and then ooh. when do tickets go on sale for the rest of us who don't know? We don't win know them? yet. We don't know oh, yet. Oh, you just still. don't know. We don't Even know. You just don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this mystery. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Allison, thank you so much. Yes. Make sure you head out to that party. It's going to be a good time.